Chad here with the Curious Vita YouTube channel, and I am here with my daughter Isabella. We are spending three days hot tent camping in the snowy Bighorn Mountains of Wyoming. We are going to be exploring medicine wheels, ancient medicine <laughs> wheels, and having a good time. It's going to be a great video. <laughs> you stole my heart of gold after my silver soul. Hey guys, we just drove around for like three or four hours looking at different camp spots and we found a few that were decent, but we just kept driving and looking for, you know, the perfect spot. And this is what we stumbled upon. This little mountain hill right here. You can see there's snow all the way to the top of the mountain there and all through those trees. So the snow is already falling and it's like 30 degrees right now. It actually feels nice. The sun is beating on us pretty good, so it's not that bad. But this was, oh, yeah. it looked like a hunter's camp. Yeah. And it looks like they were here recently, but there's nobody here. So I've waited here for like almost an hour just to make sure they didn't just drive off and, and coming back. But uh, no signs of them. And there they, that looks like a, a deer jaw, probably. So there's there's tons of bones here, but this one's old from last year or year before. Yeah. But we're gonna set up uh, the hot tent here and get ready to cook some dinner and get all set up. Bella's got a leg bone. Show me your leg bone. Must mean there's some pretty good hot dogs, huh? And those are perfect. How do you like them? Okay, good. Now take it out. Now blow out the fire. Okay, now go put that back out on the stump, okay? You did a good job. All right, guys, we got the um, the cot set up. This bunk is super cool, but it is a pain in the butt to set up. It's like the hardest thing to set up, but we got it set up. If she wants to sleep up on top, it'll actually be warmer. Yeah. Um, you know, because all the hot air is gonna rise up off the ground and stay off the cold ground. Um, but we got it all set up. And we're gonna get some hot chocolate. Now she wants some hot chocolate. Water is boiling. Try not to use my finger here. We're gonna make some hot chocolate. Hot chocolate? Wanna share? Uh -huh. There's another cup in here somewhere. Yeah, you're gonna have to wait for this to cool down, okay? Yep. Where do you want me to go outside? Alright, so we had a big day, long night, and we got everything all set up. We're in the middle of who knows where. <laughs> Somewhere in the Bighorn Mountains, and, far off of any kind of and we don't know where civilization home is. or road. We don't know where home is. We don't know where home is. Oh, no, we're stuck here. Bella's got her hot chocolate, and um, I'm tired. So we're going to take a little nap, and we will see you all in the morning. Good night. Bye-bye. See you tomorrow. Bye. <laughs> Well, good morning. I was up all night long messing with the uh, wood stove. It's just that uh, each of the logs only burns maybe f like 20 30 minutes at the most, and then sometimes the uh, Spark arrestor gets clogged up and then starts to smoke out inside the tent, so I had to go out and clean it up. But uh, whatever you see on uh, YouTube and different videos, 
with a nice little pile of logs all organized beside a little wood stove that they folded up and unfolded in a little backpack. Looks like it's made out of tinfoil. I don't know. Morning, Bella. Morning. And this is the spark arrestor that would... It's the chimney. It, the chimney. It, it's it's clear right now, you can see. But uh, I had to go bang on it a couple times and I got ash all over the... The tent. The tent. <laughs> The tent is supposed to be fire retardant proof, but the only way I could get it cleared up so it wasn't smoking inside the tent was to bang on it. And then I had to bang on the tent to get all the ash off of there. So it's a lot of work. So I need a nap. You ready for breakfast? What are you wearing? It's, it's like uh, 20 degrees. Look, the Jeep is all frozen. The Jeep is frozen. The snowflakes. So we got a hard frost on the ground. And uh, frost all over the Jeep and everything in the back of the Jeep. Somebody already shot something this morning, I heard. Just a minute ago. I got flip flops on, skinny pants. Beautiful out here. Let's see mm -hmm. if I can find another spoon. Is it good? Mm -hmm. Is it amazing? Mm -hmm. It's perfect. Perfect. Okay. Alright, we just finished breakfast and cleaned up a little bit. We are going to go check out a um, ancient medicine wheel. It's a Native American med medicine wheel. Um, the only thing is, is that there's a lot of snow up on the tops of these mountains and we're going to see if we can get up there, but we're going to give it a shot. We'll see you over there. We're on the way to check out the medicine wheel and we the saw this time. sign for yes. a uh, emergency shelter. They're for snowmobilers to use in the winter time, uh, maybe in case they need to seek shelter for whatever reason. Maybe bad snowstorm or injury or... Just shelter for any kind of reason. So you can go in there and there's a wood stove, there's a little grill right here. Mm -hmm. And probably some communication device. They got uh, maybe lights or camera up there. Oh, there's a nice chimney up there. Yeah, it's a nice chimney right there. So probably a nice wood stove. There's a sign here that says don't steal the wood. And uh, there's the wood right there, a little bit. Little fire pit. Bella found the girl. <laughs> Alright, let's go check out the medicine wheel, okay? You ready? Yeah. Hey, did you check out this view? Huh? huh? The view, did you check out the view? Yeah. Check this out. I this is the view. Can you see the so camera? that's the the, the mountains mm -hmm. that surround Yellowstone. Um the Absorca and Beartooth Mountains just to the north of there. Hopefully this turns out on the video, okay? Snow all over the place. It's uh, it goes from summer to winter. There's there's not really a fall here. Look. This is this is ugly right here. Look. 
Look. Oh my gosh. Oh my god, there's snow right here. Can you see all the snow right here? I don't know if we're going to be able to go where we want to go. Uh oh. Uh oh. Slushy. We're going to need some full wheel drive. Jeez. Bye, Bella. There's a lot of snow. There's like a a foot or two. Or, there's, it's moving the Jeep around. There might be at least a foot of snow there. That's crazy. Oh, down here. This guy has chains on the back of his truck. That's kind of intimidating. Definitely don't want to get stuck up here. Wait, why does he have tires on, on the back of his Chains to help him get a grip. Let's see what this looks like. This wasn't supposed to be a snow wheeling video. We might be the only crazy people up here. You got yep. your shovel? Yep, the shovel's in here. Alright, here we go. We just parked and winter. kinda looks like winter. It is winter. It is winter? Right now it is. But it's supposed to be fall. It's supposed to be. It's supposed to be just the beginning of fall. But it looks like we're going on a, a snow hike. <laughs> the trail to the medicine wheel is three miles total. You, go, you ready to walk three miles? This is crazy. I guess this will only be like this for maybe another week or so before it's covered in snow. The bench, turn it around. There's a bench to take a break. Can <laughs> I throw this at you? No. <laughs> what? No. <Yeah>. Crazy? <laughs> Alright, the situation is just getting Bigger. worse. The snow is getting heavier. Alright, here's a really good view of the Bighorn Basin and the mountains on the other side are the Absorcas, then the Beartooths, and then the Prior Mountains. I don't have my bearings perfectly straight. There's cows on the top of that hill over there. That's crazy. But anyhow, generally Yellowstone, Absorcas, Beartooths in the Prior Mountains, and we're here in the Bighorn Mountains. The oh, that's the uh, medicine wheel. Right there. Ooh. That's where we're about to go see. That's what it looks like? Yep. And what's in the middle of it? It says the first people using these trails may have entered the area on the very same path that you are now using as long as 10,000 years ago. Oh my gosh, okay. over time. Possibly due to rising temperatures and a decrease in moisture, buffalo-centered plains people interacted with hunters and gatherers. 10,000 years ago, oh my gosh. No, so as the landscape continues to be recognized as a sacred and spiritual place, Native Americans make the pilgrimage from across the continent to Medicine Mountain to make offerings and hold ceremonies. Ceremonies, not a breath. Ceremonies may occur at any time, and having a sense of solitude may, be, may be important to those holding them. We ask visitors to be respectful of quietly observing the distance and refrain from taking pictures or film. Well, look, they built their own wall. It looks like it does, kind of, right? Huh? I don't think they built it, though. I think that's natural. Natural? What does natural mean? It's just nature made it. All right, guys, we finally made it to the medicine wheel. And here is the uh, signage for it. This is what it looks like from above. It's kind of hard to see right now because there's a lot of snow that just fell maybe a couple days ago. Um, but the, the little items that you see, the scarves and the <clears throat> pieces of cloth are, are um, offerings. 
that the people have left here when they come to do their ceremonies. The medicine wheel is at least 250 years old, but Native Americans have occupied the region for over 12,000 years. Maintaining vibrant cultural practices is shown by the ancient trail system. So I think there's 28 spokes in these, I think they're called cairns, around the edges of them. And then there's one in the middle. And then these would be like the spokes. That's why they call it a medicine wheel. That's my understanding of it. Because it looks like a wheel. It looks, looks like a wheel, right? Yeah. What's that, Daddy? That's a uh, offering, like a prayer offering. Remember at Devil's Tower? Uh -huh. They had the different, um, like, scarves and pieces of cloth that they left as an offering. So they come here and they do ceremonies. And then they leave um, different items. Here's a... Uh, And it looks like a... Don't touch them, okay? Why? Because you're not supposed to. They're supposed to be sacred. That uh, people left here for their... Their ceremony. Wait, why is there a piece of hair in there? Because they left there a piece of hair. It's weird. Because it's spiritual, so they leave their... Their things here. This is pretty cool, huh? Here's one of the... I think they're called cairns? Then that's the one in the middle, and I don't know their meaning, I'm sorry. Um, I don't think it's clear to everyone exactly what, what they are. So, 28 spokes, 28 days in the month maybe. I've read that some people compare it to Stonehenge, uh, but the view out here is ridiculous. You can see the... The Bighorn Basin pretty well from up here. You can see why they they picked this location as their sacred location. Bell, don't touch anything, okay? Some people have some of the offer offerings even over on the trees off to the edge here. Yeah, even in some of the trees around here, there's more. This reminds me of um, when we went to go visit Devil's Tower, they had um, similar offerings. Hey, Dad, come and look at this Indian. This looks like a girl. This looks like a human thing. Mm-hmm. You don't touch it though, okay? Okay. Look, some people left ring. Okay. Some people, look, somebody, somebody left a ring. Don't and touch, don't touch. And a quarter? Yeah. Penny, you mean? Some kind of penny? You can see the spokes right there. That's one of the spokes. There's another one. And then there's a, a ring kind of in the middle. And then there's the outer ring here also. So we'll have a ring there, and then a ring here, and then the center piece right there. And then there's these, there's six of them, I believe. Do you see what I see? What do you see? A horn. Hmm? A horn. I see a horn. A horn? Look in there. Oh, there's an antler. There's a deer antler right there. They're right there. Who do you think attacked the antler? I don't know. Oh, there's a mountain sheep. There's a mountain sheep uh, horn right there. Let's see what else we can find. There's a feather. More feathers. No entrance without permit. So I think they come in here. The Native Americans come in here and, and um, have hold ceremonies. So I'll go in there, okay? Okay. Well, Bella's wearing, like, um, summer beach sandals. I have barely hiking boots on. Definitely not something for 
this kind of snow. Her feet are wet from the snow, but we did not expect this much snow. The weather forecast said 70s. <laughs> I mean, it's warm now after we hiked up here, but uh, it was down in the 20s last night. And still snow down by the camp. Even at the lower elevations. I was not hoping it would be snowing. There's a little pika up in here. Look at his little feta. I didn't know that's a pika. Yeah. That's the first time you've ever seen one, I think, right? I know. I thought it was hot. I wonder if that's what was in the Hey, guys. Yeah, he looks like a mouse. That was pretty cool. We got to see a pika, which this is like the perfect environment. They live up in the rocks and the alpines. And they're kind of, what do you call them, like a, like a hamster? They're like a, a giant mouse rodent with big ears. All right, we made it back to the uh, Jeep and We've got some Shushies. sushi. Sushi. Oh, we forgot chopsticks. So mm. we're going to have to. And we're Finger roll. Mm. That was disgusting. Oh, Bella just ate some wasabi. She thought it was avocado. <laughs> it is the one. Oh. I put it in my mouth and I thought it was avocado. It's not avocado. It looked really like that. I had a stick in my finger and then I put it in my mouth. Are you mouth. okay? Uh -uh. <laughs> this Bella convinced me to go check out this the waterfall. waterfall. Yeah, the waterfall is supposed to be pretty cool. It's a slippery, icy, snowy mess. Our second hike of the day. Then we still gotta figure out how to go find our camp after this. We already went three miles and now we're we hiked three miles to the top of the mountain. Okay. For the water, it's only one Better be nice. That's pretty, huh? <laughs> What's going on, Maggie? Oh, wow. Hey, <laughs> Bella, look at beautiful. this. I wasn't thinking it would be this beautiful. Right, I'm not sure how we're going to get back up. I think um, our legs are like rubber at this point. This was worth it. Looks like it's a cool place to fish, maybe. Bella's super excited. Wow. That's pretty cool. I almost want to go for a swim. That's what I want to swim. But look, there's a cave up here. My is right there. Big. Oh, I wonder what's in there. Huh? It looks like the water's coming out of there. Yeah. What do you think it's in there? That'd be a cool place to go camp, right? Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, right, okay, okay, okay. <laughs> you act like your mama. <laughs> We're gonna cook up some, some honey butter bread. We just got back from both of our hikes. A three mile hike. Up to the medicine wheel. And of course, one, the smoke comes right in my face. And, and then the um, wheel will be one. And then another mile hike. Will be one mile. Up a the thousand foot vertical climb or something. I don't know. And my dad was talking to the people and the guy him was chatting. We're gonna make some honey butter bread because we could use some carbs. A little snack before 
whatever we eat for dinner. You know what we're gonna eat for dinner? Mm, yeah. What? Mm, I mean, hot dogs? Yes, hot dogs. Does it stick to it? Give me like a little stick. See, I'm just gonna throw that on there. I need a little flour, it's a little sticky. See all of that in there? Just like a pizza. Mm-hmm. And we're gonna throw it in here. Oh! I'm trying to make a heart, though. Hmm? I'm trying to make a heart. Mm -hmm. Some butter. Spread all over that. That burn. Mm. This is actually good. Hmm. Yeah, it's kind of like like a pancake or something, right? Mm-hmm. But the one that you can eat with your fingers. Mm -hmm. <laughs> what is that? <laughs> we had some dinner, a bunch of snacks, and campfire food, and we're gonna have some hot chocolate and maybe roast some marshmallows and. Probably head to bed pretty early before it gets too dark. We had a really big day. I'm tired. You tired? So, cheers. You like school or camping better? Camping. You like camping better? Mm -hmm. Bring your friends out camping? That'd be good, right? I want to what is it you could do school out here where you're camping and your teacher and your friends come out? Oh, so, so if she was teaching right here? Uh huh. And the dad was right here mm -hmm. telling all the kids what to do. Mm -hmm. And he, and you were also the teacher too. No, I was relaxing. I'll do the video. Do okay. the video. Okay, I'm going to I'm going to my own. Then you can have school. This is the way it used to be. They used to have school out here. Really? Mm hmm. A long time ago. <laughs> There's two does right there, Deer. and they're walking around. That Everyone's hunting shoot. camps. Daddy wants to shoot one. I don't think it's deer season right now. But but Daddy wants to shoot her one, and Daddy been but Daddy been hurting some people like shooting guns. Right? I think somebody shot an elk. Uh huh. It's because it sounded like a big gun. Oh, we have a fan? Mm hmm The fan circulates to the hot air. Look at this mess. Mm. Oh, two days of camping, this is what it looks like. Oh. There was a, um, before we went to bed last night, there was a bear right there in that tree line. But, uh, he went back in the trees. And I never heard from him. Where are you going? Probably not bad. There's bears over there. This morning on the breakfast menu we're making crispy, extra crispy bacon for me. And some hash browns. From yesterday, potatoes O'Brien with onions and peppers. All dumped in the baking grease. And then we're going to melt some cheese on top of that. Ooh. It'll be splattered by baking grease. Not good.
Breakfast is served. <coughs> Princess Bella. Okay, it's hot. All right, guys, it's Isabella's favorite time. It's cleanup time, right? No, she doesn't like it. <laughs> she doesn't, she doesn't want to go home. She doesn't want to go to school. She just wants to live out here and go camping. I want a cabin. She wants a cabin out here. Right here. This is going to be the end of the video. We hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, our three days hot tent camping it went by like that, a blink of an eye. The weather is amazing. There's snow on the mountains and it's sunny. But we hope you enjoyed the video. If you liked this camping video, don't forget to check out our other camping videos in our camping playlist. And also, if you want to see more videos, don't forget to subscribe. We're trying to put out videos as often as we can, probably about once a week or so. So thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. Bye. Vacation's over. Now you gotta go back to school. What's wrong? I don't wanna leave. You don't wanna leave? Mm-mm. I hate school. You don't like school? It's boring. <laughs> what about Mama and Nana and the other little bossy baby? His name is Jackson and he tells everyone to shush all the time. He walks around like he's the boss. <laughs>